you can see here, there's a SQL data warehouse here. Um, there is data engineering, ETL for Delta, and machine learning. But let me go over to the catalog here. And this is Unity catalog. And inside Unity catalog, you have all your tables. You can actually even federate into other systems. So we have a table that we federated from Snowflake here. You can federate BigQuery or other systems. Um, but what I want to really do is go look at this one table that we have in the system, uh, which is a churn table. Okay, so churn features. You can see here, if we click on it, that we have different columns in this table. We have some sam sample data that's sitting in here. Um, there's permissions, so you can set out attribute-based access control. You can look at the lineage, so you can see what are the upstream, downstream uh, tables. You can even see the whole lineage graph here. And what we can do now is, using all this semantic information about lineage metadata, the AI has data intelligence to actually generate the text for what this table does. We can actually click here, and for each of the columns, we can see that uh, it's describing in English what they each do. So we have an English description. This now enables us to do semantic search. So we can go to search, and we can type in English, find information about platform churn. And it now will actually leverage that English-generated data intelligence and give us the table that's important for this. So this is super critical, because it's really, really hard in organizations to um, find the right data. OK, so let's look at here in SQL. Uh, I'm going to actually do some queries here. Show me the number of churned users uh, for premium platform uh, in the past fiscal year. Okay, so it's going to generate SQL for us here, but now it actually understood the data intelligence for these words premium platform um, or fiscal year. So let's run this query. Right, so we got the results. Uh, so actually, it generated a pretty good SQL for us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, and I'm going to upload a bunch of PDFs on documentation in Databricks here uh, to Unity Catalog Volume. It now takes each of these, and it actually creates delta tables from these automatically. So if we go click here um, on Databricks documentation, we can see that now it has the sample data uploaded. It's actually chunked it. It understands the contents. Uh, and we can actually now say, let's create a vector search database with this. Uh, we give it a name. And we have to then pick a primary key so that the vector search can use. And we use an endpoint. And then we use an embedding model. So I'm actually just going to use Azure OpenAI ADA model here. And I'm going to say that continuously update this uh, vector database. Okay? So we can click here. We can see that now the vector database is up and running. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to create uh, an endpoint. So we're going to serve this model. Let's create an LLM using Azure OpenAI chatbot. Um, and create the serving endpoint. Okay, so it's off now, and it's creating an NLM endpoint that we can call into. And I prepared a notebook here that we can see. This notebook has a chatbot in it, and we can actually ask a question that calls that endpoint now. So, how can I publish my Unity Catalog schema to Power BI? You can see this hits the endpoint that goes to the vector search, and it answers it. Uh, so, this is awesome. This now also gets automatically stored in a delta table. So we can see here all the requests, all the monitoring, and we can easily just push this now to Power BI. So it pushes the data set into Power BI, and we can go here and say automatically create a report uh, based on the delta table that we have. And we can see here that we can see the toxicity or all the responses that got recorded. So it's really, really tightly integrated now into Power BI.